Hey guys, welcome back to Track Yards. I'm Captain Foley. And I am Commander Cockings, 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 Cockings. I'm relaying you my my, uh, just, my wording across the I'm just gonna say interwebs. thanks to the, the thanks to the, the technology that is YouTube relay stations, we are talking to you now. Um, and hopefully it's reaching all the sectors and not just limited to like a smaller area. Hopefully the long range um, scanners and sensors okay. are still working. So we have one video that's like limited to Germany only, and it's like what? <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Today we're going to be talking about the well, the thirty-one eighty-eight. I mean, earlier than that because it destroyed a little while ago. Um, relay station, Federation relay station from the first episode of Discovery season three. Yes, and this is a very much a first look reaction. We know we're going to get more later. We hope we do, but we like putting these sort of theoretical videos out there and seeing what sticks because you know we have this sort of gut reaction when it comes to Star Trek, as you guys may know. And we did get a better view than we were expecting. Uh, and yeah, we want to talk about it. And first of all, I want to say, based on how it was filmed, I kind of my eyes closed over a little bit. But when you pan over the station. Bookship is actually what's flying. I think it's incredibly subtle, even with the bright red engine. I think it's really subtle. Um, so you see the scaleless thing is maybe not like a space dock size, obviously, but it is definitely a space station size. I and mean, Bookship is small. It is relatively small. So this isn't like, you know, um, ginormous, but it is definitely a pretty big station. And even the area where Book's shuttle kind of, or ship kind of enters, um, it looks like a, it was a landing pad or a oh, staging area stay. for shuttles, oh, maybe. Yeah, it's got the. That. It's got the Federation logo there in black, but it's old. Um, that being said, there's a lot of debris around, and I understand that, you know, the, the, the lithium went boom. Who knows what that means well, the specifically? Yeah, the reactor. Yeah. Reactor went on this thing, yes. Um, so still that much debris floating around in space over the course of at least 40 years, maybe more. Um, well, it was 120 years since the boom and 40 years since this guy's been here taking over from his dad. So you think that, you know, I mean, it's just probably floating there. It's not no momentum. I don't. I guess, but still, clear that shit up, guys. I, I know he even point made the point of saying, you know, <laughs> there's been nobody around to do that. Um, but uh, although first, first to note, and and this is an you know, we're presented with this pretty devastatedly damaged, not destroyed station, but there are visible lights throughout the entire sequence, throughout the entire station, all around, including Blinky's and other. And also, they're obviously going inside, and there's no indication of being damaged. So while we're presented with it being, oh no, damaged, it's also as fully functional as it can be, apparently. So that certainly took me by surprise. It's interesting, like, it's pretty damaged, but also, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it is quite a large station. Um, and then you get the nice pan out, or dissolve from, like, the outside to the inside, where there's, like, a schematic of it. And we've, we kind of... We had the the lead up to season three where we kind of talked about the the trailer they released, and this thing's in it, or parts of it anyway, floating, and we kind of speculated it was like an Earth space dock or you know that kind of thing, and it does have that kind of futuristic, you know, version of that vibe to it. Um, seeing it here, it looks a little bit different. Um, I can still, you know, we can still say space dock and. You, you know, as far as a future version goes, it'd be fine. It is a relay station, though. It for is pointing the, that out. It's the simple. The, this is the sort of nice visual update where the visual language of what you're trying to do still remains. The Earth Space Dock facility has a larger top bit with a thinner spire bottom bit, which tends to go in at the bottom. That's the simple visual language of it. Now, in Discovery, we had a station which was the reverse. It had a thin spire and a bottom. Uh, actually, I think that was of a circle, but it felt kind of triangly with some things that sticked out. So this kind of almost feels like an upside-down version of the Discovery Station, which is a decent station. It's just a bit like... Flip it. Um, now, I'm surprised, though, that this station has a visible hole in the middle. Uh, bit bit vengeance-y. Um, or Picard, all the Star Discovery uh, Section 31 ships. You know, all that new Trek goodness. Yeah, it is actually a hole, isn't it? Goddamn. I didn't really. I thought it was like a some kind of like shuttle bay or something. Uh, speaking of, um, when you go to the schematic, you can actually see shuttles listed on the bottom there, bottom right. At least it looks like it, and I think they. It's fair to say they don't look like Discovery shuttles. 
Stuart, let's not let's not assume that yet, because in Discovery Episode 1, they both said the crew was 250 and also 400 at the same scene. So let's not take the graphics department knowing what they're doing when it comes to the everything else canon department. We can't trust that. Sorry. Uh, what do you think about the hole, though? Because I'm trying to think about how the, the, the spy then attaches if there's a hole. Like, is it just a, a hole then out? Because, I don't know. The top part's kind of triangular like that. And then you got the spire going down, right? So I assume the spire's on the two sides of that ah. triangle. The back part's open. So it's kind of like a... Or it's like pulled forward as well, close to yes. this side. Yes. Ah, okay, that I can see. Okay. Or the top or the top is actually angled like this, so it's attached to a yep. spire, but it's got a hole through it. Yeah, um, okay. That would work too. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah. Hopefully we learn a little bit more about this. Um, we did see robots in the beginning of the, or the opening sequence of the um, the title sequence, and they kind of hint at things that are coming in the season. And they did have Federation Deltas on them, so hopefully those are like repair bots that they get activated that start cleaning the station up maybe. Maybe we'll see a you know cleaned up version of it at some point. Well, it would be nice um, if, it's a, is... if it's the first thing we see and symbolically improved as we go. That would be kind of nice. Yeah, like the rebuilding of the Federation from this point here, and then they find Discovery, and then, you know, they start to... That'd be kind of neat, actually. Um, but, no, I mean, as far as uh, future design of Starfleet, I think it's kind of neat. Uh, it still has that, like you, like I said, that space dot kind of look to it. Um, and to see the outside, I didn't notice it at first, but the, the United Federation of Planets symbol on the, on the top there was a nice touch. But it's appropriately worn off. Yes, absolutely. I mean obviously it's metal. It's uh, it's metal. It's space. These things are designed to last for a long time. We've seen old ships with the registries still intact. It's an artistic choice rather than a making sense choice necessarily. And again, especially since the confusion factor of what we're looking at, there's so many bits of damage, which certainly to me don't feel like a reactor damage. I mean, a reactor implies a certain piece, but it's mostly intact with a few holes, which may or may not be intentional holes, as with that sort of slice groove, like the grooves almost look intentional. Or not. Like, I kind of guess if there was like conduits that then blew out or they then jettisoned paths, maybe. But it, it's mostly intact and yet there's pockets. It really to me more feels like they were attacked. And we might get that as part of the story. You know, he seems like a nice guy, but there might be some ill intent to the character, the, the, the liaison there. Maybe it was also attacked afterwards and they defended it. You know, I mean, as long as you have power, you can have phases for the most part. Torpedoes you run out of, but unless obviously they have like, I mean, you know, they can create guns out of nowhere, so maybe they can create torpedoes out of nowhere. It could also have been scavenged, um, considering people need parts and things. You know, they can could come on scavenge parts that they required. So, I don't know. Um, I just thought it was worth kind of looking at this and. It feels me as if they're Federation scavengers, because you know I felt like the thing is defensible enough that it warded off villains. Because the guy's just sitting there chill, unless it was you know seventy years ago. Then his dad came in, and you know they may have been because to repair something like this is a is a big task, and. When you have limited resources anyway, why do you even bother? It works. You know, maybe they could at least have vaporized the debris so it won't crash into you. But if you've got shields, who really cares? I want to jump back for a second. I love the fact that you caught that they do go into that hangar looking thing. Because that's only gives us a sense of scale that this is designed for shuttles and very small craft. It's, that can't fit like a galaxy, a nebula, and like defiant, sure. But this is a relatively small, it's like, you know, you dock, you say hey. You know, I mean, although they probably don't care. It's probably like a 5,000 kilometer shit station and they just fit J's in there. They I mean, they probably don't care. But visibly, based on everything we know, what they're showing us originally, it looks like a sort of neat, neat small scale. I, I really like the transition from the outside to the, the almost like perfect schematic. <laughs> um, and yet the damage is kind of there, but also very neat, like refined in. I like the fact that you can see it's clearly on all three sides. It's got the inner shuttle components and yet on the other two sides there's I mean it's really unclear I would like to think those are probably like they, they have berths that come out out of the bigger ships I could see that being you know three internals three out outternals I'm not sure why I'm thinking that but yeah you gotta think too if it is just a relay station like a communication relay station it's just meant for communication so there's no no need for big ships to dock at it it's not like a starbase or repair facility um, I just hope we see a little bit more of it I hope we see like a flashback to it new during like before the burn that'd be kind of neat with all the federation um, fleet going by it and none of the discovery assets right team right you wouldn't do that to us would you well i'll see 15 discovery shuttles zipping around oh, that scene, sure. standard shuttle, standard shuttle. Uh, one, one little note 
Um, as it flies over, you get the aztec -y pattern. I mean, it's not aztec -y specifically, but it's, it's panel spec. Uh, and it's very big spec, given the size. There's always a caveat of something that big. But it is actually rather effective. So I'll give them credit, it works quite well. Whatever they use is like a repeating pattern. It actually works rather well. As you zoom out, it has a lovely texturing effect without being too obnoxious. It's probably still a little bit too big for the size of the station, like a bit. But I get why, because, you know, as as a unlike with older tra uh, or more original track, I guess the panel panel linings are actually real panels. So a panel this big is massive, but if there's like hundreds of them, even TMP has a lot less panels, and they're not necessarily designed to be taken out. There, it's a different sort of logic. This is like tens of thousands of small panels. It's like what they just paint the ground different. Like it's more as a visual caveat of look detail as opposed to look detail. But it it works here. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't consider that, um, but now I'm looking at the paneling, and I do, I do, um, I do like that look for sure. I do like it. It's a good, decent design. It's it's an appropriately, just about Star Trek enough, because as soon as you say it's this aesthetic evolve, you're like, oh, okay. It's not innately Star Trek, but that's that fine line. This I think is a good side of that line. So hopefully, with more future Federation ships, you know we will see more things, um, and not one that even remotely resembles a Discovery ship, because of, of course not. That would be absurd. Anyway, that's about it for this relay station. This is our first impression of it. Hopefully, we get to see more and can do a follow-up episode at some point. Let us know your thoughts on it. Um, did you like the design? Did you? What did you notice that we didn't? Maybe let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell icon to all. And join us for any uh, lives that we do. Also, join the channel beside the subscribe button. Very important. And that's similar to Super Chats, but monthly. But speaking of those Super Chats, that was a very deliberate inroad there. Do jump in and Super Chat in our lives. They're super important, super helpful, and super, super. It makes sense. Uh, but Patreon is also a really super important way. Uh, and then one-time donation at PayPal, trekkersohomel.com. Super important there. And just come join the chat. You know, be part of the conversation, put in what you think. And as with all things Discovery, which is often a love it or hate it sort of thing, we are going to be fair balanced. And this is one of those things which is good. I know we will all have released an episode on the Discovery Shuttle. That is a problem. We call it out. This is a success. We call it out. Go be balanced, guys. Go be balanced. What's the point otherwise? That's right. So until next time, guys, I'm Captain Ford. And I'm Connor Holmes. Bye. Bye, guys.